Here's a thought. If you can replace the sky using AI sky replacement, can you replace the background using the same tool? Okay, I'll keep this one short. I've tried it. It works and it works in certain circumstances, but it works. So let's dive right in. Okay, the first image I'm going to show you is this one here. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm not going to go in and edit the portrait at all, just for this quick demonstration. I'm going to go straight into Creative. AI Sky Replacement. And as you can see, Sky Selection is highlighted. That, if you try it in some images, it won't be highlighted. As you can see here, it's quite a dull background. It's actually shot against a white background using the inverse square law. So I am going to add a sky to this. And the first sky I am going to add will be Dramatic Sky 3. So there you go. It's dropped a sky right in. So the background replacement possibilities of this is very, very interesting. I am going to turn down the horizon blending. As you can see, positioning is out as well. I'm going to take the positioning down. I'm going to get into advanced settings. I'm going to take the sky global to around 32. I'm going to take the sky local to around there. You can see what's happening here. That's the area that was concerning me. I'll see if I can get rid of this now or as best as I can, because you've got to remember, this is a sky replacement, so the AI is looking for uh, a dull, flat, greyed out sky. But what we've given it here to look at is, in this case, a model. So I'm using the sky replacement to replace a background from a shoot. I am going to close the gaps as well. So let's go up to see if it can handle. That's the area there that was really annoying me with this. So let's go, let's push it a wee bit further to around there. So you see it's handled that really, really well. What I'll do is I'll try a different sky just to see how it's going to go. Let's go for a different colour of sky. Let's go blue sky to bright blue sky to Yep, that's okay. Slight lightness up here. The blue is coming on, but that's because of the real light scene. If I take that down, getting a better result there as well. So this is interesting just to think out of the box a little bit for this. Let's go into one of my own. Let's go with custom sky image. Let's go for dramatic sunset too. Just to see how it handles the different clouds, the different skies within this. There you go. As you can see down here, it's caught some of the image there. I could pull back, close gaps. But I'm always now wary of this area here. I could defocus the sky. Or I simply could go in and edit the mask, brush, erase. I am going to take the opacity, I'm going to paint the opacity at 100 first. There we go. And I'm going to take that as finished. I'll go on and edit this entire image. I'll possibly use a different sky. So here we are in Luminar and I've prepped four images already for this just to check that it does work. There is some images it doesn't work with and if you try this uh, yourself you'll find out what images work with it and what images don't work with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go in to AI Sky Replacement. Sky Selection Highlighted. So therefore, it means I can add to this scene. If it doesn't highlight, it doesn't recognise anything with this. Remember that we see these as images. A computer sees them as binary ones and zeros. And however the AI is programmed, that is how it's reading this. It sees that, yes, I can put something there because it's a flat, colourless area. 
Right, sky selection. I am going to get an wood custom sky. And I just created a folder there, which is untitled. And the first one I'm going to put in is the ridge. These are Instagram ready images. So these are only 2000 pixels on its longest edge. So I'm going to click that and click open. And it dropped it in. I am going to take the horizon blending down to take care of this. I'm going to shift the positioning down. I'm going to adjust the advanced settings. So I'm watching this area here and this area in here. Let us push the local. That's it going and I'm going to keep going with the local until everything nearly disappears. It's now beginning to encroach in in the image, but as you can see, everything's nearly there. I'll take that back to around, say there. Uh, close gaps. Go again and see if it'll close any of these gaps at all. None whatsoever. So I'm going to try Sky Global to see if it affects any of these gaps. It is encroaching on the model's face, but to be honest, That's actually fine because what we can do is we can go in and edit a mask. Choose brush, choose erase and paint away. Yes, there is a different tonal balance in here. Different colours with this. But I'm using the sky replacement to replace a background so I don't expect it to be perfect. But I'm sure the more that I use this and the more that I try things with it that I'll find the best shooting for the models in the studio and also the best backgrounds to use. So I am going to take back the relight the scene and I am going to bring back the global to around there so that the ridge is showing through. Right, and as you can see, the main focus of this was here. That's sharp, this area here is slightly soft so why not defocus the background so I'm adjusting the background to suit my image now I'm not saying it's going to be perfect with this but look at the results there I'll load up another couple of images using these settings here because I've already set this so any replacement I go for will maintain these settings. So let's go in and choose another one. Let's go for the store light. As I say, I've checked these images. I know that they work or relatively work to the best they can with this. I'll take back the defocus, sky defocus, to let you see the sharpness of it. Bring it back in slightly and there we go. Yes, there's certain artifacts in here. But at first glance, you wouldn't really notice them. You'd have to get in and look at the details. So I'm just going to push the sky defocus. And remember, this is not anything to do with Luminar. This is to do with a user of Luminar trying different effects. Let's go into the mountain. There you go. That's possibly the best one yet. And that's with the defocus on. Let's try simple. And that probably is the best one yet, because look at the contrast here. It took care of anything that was going on there. This area down here could be something to do with the background, or it could be an artifact because I'm using the software. I'm pushing the software the opposite way from where it should actually be going with this. But it's an interesting thing to try. So once you get the software, think outside the box a bit. I'll leave it like that. I'll go on and edit one of these to show you how they look in the final edits. Okay, did that work with every sky? No. Did it work with every background? No. There is a contrast with the light and dark and that does affect the image as well. But I'll tell you, it was actually really fun to try. It was really fun to look at what was going to work and what wasn't going to work. And I tried it with different colour of backgrounds as well. I tried it with a vibrant green. It then didn't work. The best backgrounds to try it with are flat, greys, whites, but more so the grey. 
all the colours, the tonal ranges that you saw in those two images there. If you were going to do this on a consistent basis, you would have to change your shooting techniques for your portraits. That I can see. That in the future I may try as well, just to see exactly what's going to work. But it was a fun wee exercise. It was fun to try. If you want to try it yourself once you have the software, or if you already have the software, give it a go. You'll see what works and what doesn't work. I just decided to try this to see what the software can do. I enjoy my image editing and I wanted to step outside the box for a little while just to see how far I could push it in this relatively short time that I've been trying the software. And for me, it's worked well and it's been fun. That's the main thing. It's been fun. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please check out the rest of the videos in the channel. Hit subscribe as well if you've really liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.